The 775G is an off-highway truck and fully loaded, it weighs 112 tonnes. At first glance, this model from Tonkin comes in an extremely plain box. But in fact, that's just the outer shipping carton and it provides good protection to the real box inside. As you would expect, that's Caterpillar branded and in the typical house style. And as it's a Tonkin model, there's a collector card included which has a photo of the real truck and some technical specification information on the reverse side. So, having examined the calling card, we'll now reach in and pull out the insides of the box. And the 775G is held in a one-piece plastic former, with the sides held in place by interlocking poppers. We can now lift the model out, even though it appears a little bit reluctant to come out. But there's no assembly to do, because this model is complete out of the box. <laughs> Underneath there are quite a few plastic elements. The transmission is modelled but the tanks are not so good with the lower one not having an inside face. And there's some untidy finish on the front wheel arch. The wheels are good but judging by the shallow tread pattern these must be high mileage models. The front grille looks good with detailed lights. But it would have been nice if the wheel chocks had been a brighter yellow like on the real machine. The cap detailing is quite good, there's a cat logo on the back of the seat. The metal handrails are good, although the bases are a little over large. However, one nice aspect is that the engine has been modelled and is visible from certain positions. Looking on top of the chassis, there are a couple of big black screws which could have done with a bit of paint. And the rams for the dump body are all yellow rather than having silver pistons. One very nice detail is the rear axle with the tiny graphics on the suspension cylinders. Moving up to the metal dump body, the structure has been captured well and it has realistic lifting eyes. We move out into the Cranes Etc mine where we find the 775G having a roll. And it's not particularly free rolling but if you pick it up you can spin the wheels. And the ones at the front are slightly loose on the bearings but they spin fine. The steering mechanism is modelled well and you can get a decent angle on the wheels. It is on the stiff side but that's no bad thing. Moving back to the rear axle, and it does oscillate well, and the engineering of this part of the model is good. With the steering set, the truck will negotiate a reasonable turn. We will now move on to examine the tipping of the dump body. It's a two-stage cylinder, but the choice of materials used means that it has a problem holding the maximum tipping angle. And that is a bit of a pity, but if you wanted to pose it at the maximum angle, you could probably discreetly stick some tape on the middle piston so that it would hold the pose. At the rear there are moving rock deflectors and these stop rocks getting jammed between the tyres. At this point let's carry out a genuine imitation real life test. And here we have the 775G reversing up and tipping its load. And once again another mess is made by the Cranes Etc team as no rocks are left inside the body. This model does have another unusual feature, and that is that the rear outer wheels are removable. They are on very tightly but with a bit of a tug you can pull them off. And the reason for doing this is not to torture the model but to replicate a transport configuration where the transport width is reduced. It's an interesting feature but in reality the width of the model isn't really reduced at all because you'd need to take off the walkway outside the cab and the extensions on the dump body too. But with that said, the low loader has arrived and the width of the bed is being extended. And then the Cranes Etc team used the massive 5kg hand hoist to carefully pick up the 775G and place it on the low loader. With that expertly done, the two wheels can be added and the model can be driven off to the sunset at the end of the table. Now trucks like this only make money when they're carrying material, so you don't want to see them waiting around. 
And here we see the Cranes Etc team losing a stack of money as the trucks start queuing. <laughs> Overall this is quite a nice model from Tonkin with some good detailing, but some aspects of the build quality and functionality are not top notch, and with a few improvements it could have been much better. With that said, if you are looking for a Caterpillar off-highway truck, then it's recommended. 